Hi, just be tarot here. Just be tarot. Back for another reading. I'm I I had so much fun using the friend deck yesterday that I'm gonna use it again today. Let's see what little messages we can get for my little viewers. <clears throat> We're gonna do another um, pick a person and uh, see what's going on between that person and you, your relationship. I'm gonna ask how your person views you, what they want from you, what brings the relationship success, and what brings the relationship challenges, and finally, the possible outcome. So I'm just being a little bit more detailed um, compared to yesterday's reading. So like I said, I'm gonna use my little friend's uh, tarot deck and then we're gonna get some messages from the angels because who doesn't want those healing with the angels doreen virtue and keepers of the light uh cloud gray yeah cloud gray okay so let's get these little messages for you we're gonna do pile one and two and three so two is gonna be put over there so this is gonna be pile one this is going to be the citrine. Pretty sure that's citrine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, anyway. It's a nice little sparkly. Loves me some sparkles. Okay, so pile one. So, angels, please bless these decks. Oh, my divine love and light guidance. Wisdom and truth come through for the viewers ultimate highest good and for all those concerned. Let's remove any negative or heavy energies from the decks that can remove the sense. Uh, any negative negative energies within me that can remove the sense. Especially before I do this reading. No it keeps. No it keeps. Okay. So let me just Stamp so you can skip all this part, or you can join me and listen to the shuffling. We can sit together. So let's start with pile one. Your little person, what your the little person that you're wondering about, <clears throat> how they view you. So angels, how does pile one's person view them? Does that person work for them? And angels, what brings this relationship success between the view and the person that they're wondering about? What brings the relationship success? What brings the relationship's challenges? And the possible outcome for this relationship between Here we go. <clears throat> Pile one. Are you ready? Okay, so this is how your person views you. 
okay okay so pile one your person may view you or see you as indecisive you confused um, possibly unable to take charge in their life so don't feel bad pile one that's okay everybody goes through times like that uh, you feel like you can't make a difference or you can't make changes or you can't speak your truth or you can't even share your thoughts um, but don't worry because the eight of swords first of all this is how they view you okay so it doesn't mean this is who you are it's possible that you have moments like this and like I said uh, it's normal so don't feel bad um, yeah, a little bit of confusion I'm getting from your, your person in question. So whoever that person is, um, family, friend, someone you want to have a relationship with, a stranger walking down the street, working at the corner store, whoever it is you're thinking of, I don't think this person's... Well, nope, I'm going to reverse that. This person is just, like I said, I'm um, just might think these things about you okay so um if if you are that type of person kind of indecisive and sort of um um what's the opposite of dominant like really submissive you know sometimes um this person might view you like that but look at monica here <clears throat> she's um she's alone and she's bound by like these light little bandages that I'm sure she could wiggle out of pretty easily or at least try, but she's not. And she's got the little blindfold and these swords, but they're not, you know, <coughs> inside her body, you know, it's not somebody drawing a sword to her. It's just sort of like all Monica's little mental thoughts that keep her imprisoned. So that could be you right now, pile one. You could be unable to speak your truth for whatever reason, okay? That's how they view you, your person in question. And what they want from you. Let's see what they want. Okay? Communication. <clears throat> your pile wants... Oh, see, and it's even the same as Monica. So Monica is really anal and compulsive, obsessive might be describing you again that's okay everybody's different but maybe it's something you might want to try working on because nobody likes to feel constricted so and if you don't resonate with this pile one if this isn't you at all just forget this reading pick a different pile or um, pick another reading but if this does resonate with you um, your person in question wants to see more from you they want to see you open up they want to um, they want you to own own your thoughts own your decisions be proud of your your owning your thoughts and owning your decisions and owning your accomplishments and also too owning your doubts and your fears they're only doubts and fears if you keep them trapped inside your little head and then you don't explore okay so this person in question so far I think they really like you um, it's almost like they they want to see um, almost like they know you, you could be this person who's more communicative and open and responsive and um, <clears throat> giving and sharing and open they s possibly see that in you and they want that from you they really do that's what they want they don't want constricted alone, scared Monica, they want Monica in all her glory. Super smart. She's very smart. Um, <clears throat> decisive. Um, Goal-oriented. So, that's what they want. And then the next question is, what brings this relationship success? What brings this relationship success? Oh, we have Ross the Hermit again. So I think pile one, they view you as this constricted Monica by your thoughts. This is most, this is thoughts, your swords. So 
and they want you to take some time to yourself, look deep within your heart, your little head, to be able to open up to them, like the Hierophant Monica. Okay, they, they really want you to, and they even, you know, if that takes you time, if you need like time and space to go within and, you know, f figure out what it is that's constricting you or holding you back, that would be an amazing thing for, for your person, for you to open up more and um, just be more confident. But they realize that you're maybe a sensitive person and they realize that you need some time to really maybe work on yourself. Again, everybody has to work on themselves. Don't feel bad. But for you, it would be a good idea to just take some time for yourself, like Ross here, exploring. And he's okay by himself. He has no problem with that. Figuring out what he wants, finding what he wants, searching for what he wants. So that's what's going to bring this relationship pile one. Um, this person that you're thinking about, that's what's going to bring it success if you open up more. And especially, actually, I'm not even getting that. This person's like, cares for you in a way that they understand if it's not them you want to open up to. That's what I'm getting for your little person. So your person is really patient and they're willing to wait for you to open up. Um, that's what I'm getting. Okay. And then what brings challenges to this relationship? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. I have got these two cards in yesterday's reading, so it's weird that a Wheel of Fortune would be a challenge, but what brings challenges? Okay, so yeah, not taking action. Not taking action, whether it's with this person or just in your own life in general, they want to see you take action. They want to see you make choices. you like this. They want to see you like the Hierophant. Just all-knowing, um, confident. And they want to see you um, just open up and communicate and take chances possibly with them. That's what I'm getting for Pile One's person. Yes, it's very calm energy that I'm feeling um, with this. And then what's the possible outcome? Oh, the Two of Cups. This is a romantic card. So maybe Pile 1, you're thinking about um, this person in a romantic way. Or maybe they're thinking about you in a romantic way. Either way, the possible outcome is the Two of Cups. Look, it's Phoebe and uh, what's his name? Paul Rudd and her little boyfriend, her husband. I forget what his name is in the show. But they're the perfect little couple. They're perfect for each other. They really love each other. He really respects her. She really respects him and treasures him. That's the little two of cups. See the little lobster? You could possibly be each other's little lobsters. If you watch the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, <clears throat> supposedly lobsters that are in love clamp their little... <laughs> their little claws together, something like that. So this is a really nice little energy pile one. Your person basically just wants you to be your best you. And then the possible outcome is uh, possibly a relationship. And this is a family member you were thinking about, then obviously, you know, that message doesn't apply. Um, but if it is a family member you're thinking about, then they just want you sort of like peaceful and content and happy and, and um, joyous and um, want you to have lust for life, okay? Because you might not have any lust for life right now, pile one, if you're resonating, okay? So this person wants to see that in you and the possible outcome, again, is a really nice one. So that's a nice little reading. What are your messages from your angels? Master Jesus, forgiveness. You're on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So maybe this person wants you to forgive them. Or maybe you want to forgive them. 
but forgiveness is showing up in this pile for pile one, your little person. Maybe you or both need to be forgiven. Balance. So you need to balance yourself out. Look within. Find some peace and calmness so that you can really gain some confidence. Start making some decisions, start taking some actions, whether it's towards this person or not, that's up to you. But uh, this person really does want to see more from you. They want to see a, a better version of you. Possibly to have the Two of Cups with you. And they want you to take action, okay? Yeah. Let's see. Um, I just called to ask another question. I want to know, viewer, Pile 1, how you view this person that you're thinking of. What is Pile 1's... How do they view their person? Oh, okay. Seven of Swords. It's Monica again, but you were Monica. But anyway, <laughs> it's Monica in the episode where she works at a diner and she has... She stuffs her bra with big fake boobs. Anyway, it's just a funny episode, but she's got, see all these little swords in her hand, and she's kind of stealing them. This is how you view your person. If this resonates, well then, it's definitely you that has to forgive them. And, um, I'm glad I picked that card, because when we were talking about forgiveness... How you view your person, so... Maybe you're having a hard time forgiving this person, Pile One. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Oops. Take your time. Like I said, go within. And, you know, you, some people might be like, how do I go within? How do I do that? <laughs> be alone. Just be alone. Okay. And just be comfortable alone. I see it's the possible outcome is a two of cups, so you might really care for this person, pile one. They might have just done something sneaky towards you. Bottom deck. The deck, ten of swords. I don't wanna Ten of Swords, so there, there's Chandler, and I don't, I don't think that's Monica, I think it's one of the girls he dated. And she's got the sword behind her back. He's got roses. So maybe you're a sweet, romantic person, Pile One. Um, so it's definitely something you'll have to think about. But what they want from you are good things, you know? Uh, they want you to, you to be your best self, and they want you to make decisions you know and passionate decisions and and the divine will help you with that too if you gain some more confidence pal one and, and try to love yourself and know your worth you could have a romance with this person if that's what you choose but i think this person might have at least done you wrong in some way And these two pictures here. See? It's kind of sneaky a little bit. But again, maybe you weren't giving them your best self, right? So when you're you you get what you attract, right? That's what how it's supposed to go. So keep that in mind. Try and stay balanced and forgive. Forgive yourself. Try and forgive this person if you can, because um, there might be some, you know, good things coming between you two. So that's your pile. That's your messages, pile one. Should we get some little charms? I think it's pretty clear. <gasps> oh, 
Okay. Yep. Your person wants you to have more courage. They want you to be, um, like, see this little ram? They want you to just charge full speed ahead. Maybe you're just, you don't feel ready just yet. So you take your time. Okay. Pile one. There's no need to rush just because this person, you know, wants these things from you. They might have done something, you know, that you didn't like very much. So you take your time and you decide if you want to, um, continue the relationship with this person or open up more to them okay don't feel pressured and <clears throat> um here that fell on the hermit card this was um oh, the book where's the book that's um what brings success so let's see we have the castle here so i'm getting really really owning yourself speaking your truth that's very important one and this little bicycle that's so cute so take some time to yourself and do things that you enjoy maybe that might be biking or walking or hiking just being outside okay so know that you are a king or you are a queen and uh, and look at this the two of cups this is the possible outcome the romance I got this, whoops, this little mountain. And I'm getting the, it might be a bit of a climb to get this with this person. If that's resonating with you, that's the message I'm getting. Okay. Work on forgiveness. Forgiveness for yourself and this person possibly, if you feel they're, they're worthy or deserving. But, you know, you should really, everybody, you know, you know how it is. You should forgive. <laughs> but you'll know what you need to do if you take some time for you. Boo. Okay, pile one? Those are your messages. I hope you got a little bit of guidance and advice on that relationship. I like this spread better than yesterday. It's a little bit more detailed, which is nice. Okay, next. Pile two. Two. It's gonna be the little tiger's eye. So pile two, you chose the tiger's eye, which is uh, courage, strength. That's pile two. All right, let's find out what pile two's person in question is thinking about them, what they want from you. Is thinking about you. What, excuse me, what they want from you. What brings your relationship success? What brings challenges? And the possible outcome. Okay. So angels for both. For pile two. What does their person in question? How do their person? How does their person view them? For pile two. How does the person that they're thinking about view them? person in question wants from me. I'm hesitating, I'm gonna do it again, okay? Angels, sorry. Can you send me another message for the possible outcome for pile two to be my life? My personal question. Okay. And then I'm gonna do your own message. 
us some messages from your angels regarding this relationship. Of pile two angels, what messages of guidance. So for pile two, how your person views you, five of cups, so right away they see you kind of sad. Oh man, so far um, these energies, well that's okay, it's a different day, mm, different people perhaps, um, so pile two, your person kind of sees you as a little bit sad, you can see in this picture Phoebe's just by herself alone at night. Just you know, looking out to the water. She's got her arms crossed. She's kind of bummed out. And you see, she has three cups fallen over in front of her. That's what she's kind of bummed out about. But she is not looking at the two cups that are still there. So they may see you as someone who. doesn't take the time to maybe, you know, appreciate what they have, what you have. Does that make sense, Pile 2? Do you think your person might view you like that? <clears throat> Let's see how you view them. Angels, how does Pile 2 viewers view the person? this person in a different light pile too. There's Rachel. She's doing the same thing. <laughs> She's kind of doing the same thing. She's by herself, alone at night, looking out. There's no water, but there's a city. But she's got a little smile on her face. And the world here. And her little two um, wands. So, basically, you view them like they view you, only you see them as being a little bit more hopeful, okay? So they might see you as a little bit down or not able to, you know, be hopeful or have faith or, okay? But there's no but. That's what I'm getting from the cards. And if you don't resonate with this, if this is making you feel icky, just change it. Pick another pile or pick another reading or just stop it all together, okay? And then three. I'm kind of getting that you're both in the same little vibe. And again, this is how they view you, you know, kind of sad and, and hopeless, but you might not be that at all. You might not be that at all. You might be um, like this feeling, you know, okay and content, so this is how they might might view you. Doesn't mean that's you, okay? Keep that in mind. And again, this might not even be how your person is, this is how you view them. But either way, they're both kind of similar little energies, kind of like, um, like you both like to just ponder your thoughts and, you know, look at the stars and just like stuff like that. So that's kind of cute, and that's kind of nice. And then, what brings success to the relationship? No, nope. this is, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it's because I asked another question. Okay, the next question was, what they want from you. <gasps> okay. Gifts, look at, look at Joey, look at all the presents he has. He's like, yeah. But he might have bought all this stuff for himself, because, you know, 
we don't know for sure. Okay, so that might tell you something, Pile 2. Let's we'll see, um... What brings the relationship success? King of Wands. So, more passion on both your sides. Passion will bring this relationship success. Let's, get, let's just continue. What brings this relationship challenges? Okay. See this, I think this person wants you to be, um, super confident. Maybe take them out. Yeah, that's what the wands, the king of wands, it's like, uh, the king of wands, this is, um, What brings success is kind of like um, the party guy, even though Ross isn't much of a well, <laughs> depends. But um, see, and then all the gifts here. So I think they really want to have like a good time with you. Like they're not looking for something actually um, deeper, spiritual, or meaningful. Okay, I'm sorry, I could be wrong, but this is just what the cards say. So if you're resonating with this keep that in mind what they want from you card was like a picture of a joy with all these gifts and then a challenge is the magician how can the magician be a challenge Phoebe and the magician they're like amazing they're like so spiritual and they can just make stuff happen real quick and they're sort of guide guided by their intuition and possibly you know their little angels are just the universe and that's a challenge in this relationship pile two this person that you're thinking of so maybe it will be a challenge to get there or maybe that's something that you or your person don't connect to kind of more focused well i think i'm gonna say your person is more focused on like what's going on in your life social life and you know stuff like that that's what I'm getting from these cards. Possible outcome, King of Pentacles. Let me just get some words. I need some words. So your person wants you to be more adventurous and bold, and that might be a challenge. That might be a challenge for you, Pile too, to be bold and adventurous. And it's like, mm, you know, you might want something more, and this person might So maybe you're not into that pile too. All this gift giving and partying. That's what I'm getting from pile two and your person. So it doesn't mean that your person is bad or has bad intentions towards you. I think they just wanna kinda party and have a little more fun, you know, instead of you know, be
That's what I'm getting. Spiritual growth. So maybe um you the possible outcome that could be you see the king of the pentacles, the king of the monies and the finances. So maybe this person is gonna um get in the way of that. You know, and that's all it could be. Because maybe they just wanna go out and have fun and spend but um the possible outcome is the king of your money, so maybe if you just hold back on that, you'll be able to become the king of your material world. Spiritual growth, connect to your lineage, a family wound or pattern can be healed now. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. You're... This is how they view you kind of bummed out and sad, but you might be on your spiritual path and you might be, you know, needing that space and that time to reflect. Don't forget to look at the positives and what you do have in your life. But if you're not ready to, you know, lavish them with gifts or have parties and, you know, and stuff like that, then maybe you just need to chill out with this person just kind of um or at least just make that known to them you know or um try and figure that out what their intentions are what what their future plans are with you let's get some let's see if there's So the messages the charms are sending you this one here is like um motherly love like a grandma or a mom love and nurturing and attention so if you're feeling in these moments pile uh, two see even your stone courage you need courage you might want to look to this female figure when you're feeling a little bit down and unsure about your future you know or your past that might be a message for you. And I'm getting that this person that you're asking about, it's maybe their wish on a star that you're like this more open and vibrant and passionate person. Okay. Um, the third question was what brings success? It's the king of wands. Entrepreneur, self-reliant, and optimism. Okay, so this is confirming again for me with this pile that uh, you're not about this. You're, you're not about that. Am I right? Oops. So if that's not you, what brings this relationship success is when you start focusing on you and what you desire and what you want um, um, from yourself and from others. And again, this little bike, just take some time for yourself. Do some things that you enjoy. Be playful and lighthearted. Look at my little dolphin here. And um, try and really speak from your heart, your little heart space. That's going to really help you. Okay, and then the possible outcome was the king of pentacles, which makes sense because if you're not out <laughs> with people spending, taking them out, whining them and dining them, doing crazy things like that, crazy it's fun but if you're if you're doing all that you might not be able to be this um king or queen of pentacles whatever energy you resonate with and that's when you'll really shine so you got the little charm that says shine the little sun so maybe you know if you want to stay in a relationship with this person maybe just let them know again if this resonate uh, reading is resonating with you let them know that you know you you're, you have goals and ambitions You know, you might be in a different place than this person about to. Okay. I mean, you view them as a sweet person, though. 
so I'm sure they're not bad. They just might like, uh, you know, what do you call that? <clears throat> Um, I can't think of the word. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you'll think of a word. Hopefully that makes sense. And, um... Oh, see, so yeah, and this card, 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 connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So, maybe that was a pattern of... I mean, that's a pattern that you have sort of attracting or or having relationships with these people that want more from you than you might want to give. Does that make sense? So again, look to that grandmother or mother energy when you're feeling down. So that's your message. I hope that gave you a little bit of clarity on this person. I'm not getting bad vibes from this person. Uh, I think that you and this person might just want different things. And that, you know, so it's something you're going to have to decide. Okay. I'll send you a message of love. messages we can only learn to love by loving Chose the turquoise stone. Very nice. Let's see what uh, the person that you're thinking about and wondering about. Pile three angels. Okay, how does pile three's person know them? noticed that pile three in all my readings has been very good. It's uh, really special. Um, so let's see if this one is the same. Pile 
three your angels are really watching over you, giving you lots of advice on the relationship between you and this person that you have in mind. How they view you. Oh, this is the same one that was in pile one. So pile three, you might want to check out pile one. But this could be anyway a different person. Okay, how you you view them, the Empress. Okay. So they pile three. Your person views you as a little bit constrictive and indecisive, um, unable to make decisions or choices or have firm confidence in your thoughts. They think um, they might see you as being conflicted by your your thoughts your mental space you view them as the empress which is a beautiful energy like this look at Monica there she's gorgeous barefoot in her nice dress uh, and her throne outside there's water and land the empress is very motherly and nurturing and loving and compassionate and sensual everything so this is how you view your person in question about three so you must really uh, think highly of them they might view you as being a little conflicted though but you might not be okay if you're not don't don't take it like very strongly because this is just how they view you it doesn't mean this is who you are okay it's very important and then the second one is what they want from you they want the queen of wands from you so they want you to open up and be um, passionate and full of desire and confidence. Caring, self-sacrifice, and fiery. So, the Queen of Wands kind of like hosts all the parties. She has everything together. She's put together, um, you know, her house is put together. Everything is put together and she loves to throw parties and be a, a really good host. So, pile three, your person might, well, this is what they want from you. So she has a very caring energy too, and she only has the best interests at heart of this, those people around her. So they want you to be more open and passionate and social possibly. What brings this relationship success? Okay, so new beginnings and passion and desire and action. That's what brings this relationship success. So you see this person as uh, just a lovely person and um, they want from you a lovely person. But you might not be too sure about this relationship. new tasks, motivation, and energy. So motivation and energy is going to really help you in the relationship with this person that you're wondering and thinking about. Taking chances, possibly, with them. I'm getting that pile three, your person wants this with you. Like, pile one was talking about how the person just wanted you the viewer to just be happy no matter what type thing but this one i'm getting that they want you to be happy with them and they want to be happy with you and they want to start something new a new passionate yeah. beginning they want you to have more energy and more energy will create success in this relationship because maybe with more energy you'll be feeling more confident the challenges in this relationship are eight of cups nine of cups and two of cups so all the challenges that came up they're all emotional cards like
unique emotions and feelings, your heart space. And they view you as being conflicted in your thoughts, so maybe they don't see you as being very open and open to talk about feelings and emotions, and that's what they want from you. They want you to be able to do that. And what, create, what makes success in this relationship is doing that. So <laughs> if you want to be successful with this person that you're thinking about in pile three, having more confidence and um, courage to try new things would definitely help you in this relationship. The challenges, because they're all in emotional space, it's almost like well, you got two cups, the nine of cups. So I think the challenges to this relationship is a romance, romantic aspect, at least now. If this is about a family member, then obviously this wouldn't make sense. But if it's resonating with you, I think what the cards are telling us is that a romantic relationship with this person at this time might be a little bit challenging. You or the other person might always be looking for something, you know, like the Eight of Cups, that's um, emotional romance, and that's like, she's got eight cups, which is a lot of cups, I mean, ten of cups is completion, so she's got eight, but she's walking away, she wants the ninth one, and, um, so she's almost there, she wants the ninth, the, the ninth cup, so... Oh, and look, the Nine of Cups is right after it. And then we got the Two of Cups, the little couple. So that's what I'm getting from... I think this um, perfect sort of romance, if that's what you're kind of leaning towards, um, that might be challenging. If you don't take the time to open up more. Okay. And then your possible outcome. Oh my gosh. Lucas Ross and Rachel dancing outside in the stars. My goodness. So this, this pile sort of definitely is romance. Um, You view them as ready, ready to go. They might view you as not so ready because maybe you haven't opened up to them or, or maybe you have a hard time with that. Okay, but taking chances, having hope, faith and confidence and courage to take those chances, open up more, that's gonna possibly bring you an amazing romance. It's the Four of Wands. It's like a deep soul connection. And I look at Strauss and Rachel, of course. So that's really nice. And then, so man, pile three. <laughs> if this is resonating with you, you need to open up to your little empress because that's how you view them. And then your messages from your angels are serenity meditation, signs, and balance. So, look for signs from the universe. If you see the same numbers all the time, just Google it, look it up, see what they mean, and that will be little messages from your angels. Little guidance, confirmation, um, so balance, serenity, and meditation. So they want you to really to get out of your little headspace. They want you to be calm and balanced and try meditating, even if meditating is just listening to music and uh, just relaxing, okay? Just relax. Be content in whatever moment you're in. Don't be afraid to open up, okay? Because these cards show with this person that you're thinking about, if this is resonating with you, you can have amazing things with this person. 
And then we have increased awareness, facing fear and soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony and healing. So maybe um, some something to get you to open up more would just be opening up to this person. What do you have to lose? You feel what you feel. You know what you know. It is what it is. If they like it, great. If they don't, well then... What are you going to do? Continue doing nothing? I'm not saying that you're doing nothing. I'm just speaking in general, right? You have to speak your truth. And open up to the people that you love and respect and admire. It's very important. You don't want to be constricted. Okay, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So, why not take that chance? The angels are telling you, do it. <laughs> soar, explore, be confident, speak your truth. Okay? And then here, deep connection, trust your inner voice. So, this person is this dress. Say it's pile three again. Deep connection. You're worried, I think, pile three. But don't need to be worried. Look at all these nice messages that you're getting. Face your fears. Be calm and balanced. Take some time to yourself. Just chill out. And listen to some good music. Listen to anything that makes you feel calm and relaxed. And, you know, take a chance. Oh, let's get your little charms. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is the card of how they view you, this little um, constricted Monica. We've got wisdom, a little couple dancing. So this is romance, romance, I'm just talking about music, so maybe you need to listen to some classical music or some really famous classical songs that tug at the heartstrings. Give that a try next time you're alone. I wish I had some names of some, but I don't. And wisdom. You might not even be in this energy. It could have been something from the past because we have wisdom here. So at least you can acknowledge this about yourself if you're resonating with this pile. You might be able to at least acknowledge that you might have a tendency of getting into that space sometimes. But I think um, romance is the key for you, pile three, to get out of that space. Just See, they're just dancing away, like swing dancing or something. And then this one was what they want from you. The little palm tree represents a vacation or just peace. And then we have the vacation with the peace charm attached to it. So we have calm, calm and peaceful, listening to the beach waves. You know, when you're listening to the beach waves and nothing else? <laughs> That's going to be the key. Simple times. You got the little teacup again. Simple pleasures. And clear quartz, which is um, just clearing away any negativity or foggy thoughts. Have a clear mind. Clear your mind. There's many ways to do that. Oh. Okay. So look. These charms we had on the challenges. I think, Pile 3, your little wish on a star is this romantic relationship. You 
and or this person that you are thinking about. So wish on a star. And then we have the music again. <laughs> Oops. You have a little music on these love, love cards, the little challenges. And liberation. So we've got the little Statue of Liberty. That's liberation. So liberate yourself from possible fears associated with romance or um, commitment. And if it's something you truly want, you definitely have to open yourself up more in that space. Especially if you want um, a relationship with this person that you're wondering about. But that's nice. That's really nice. Nice little messages. I hope you got some clarity and some little suggestions on how to work through this relationship. So give it a try. Classical music, romance, when you're by yourself. And see if that helps get you in the mood. Maybe give you some courage to start something with this person. You're a little empress. That's how you see them. So those are messages. I hope you enjoyed. It's fun using this little friend's deck. I have fun. Okay, so that's it. All done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll make another video soon.